Hi folks, Daniel here. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Astral Light Galaxy Projector and testing their claims that it helps you get better sleep. As somebody who doesn't generally sleep well, I've decided to start looking into products that may help me. Since starting this channel, I get served adverts for this kind of stuff all the time. I took a punt on the Astral Light because they claim that their Galaxy Projector is award winning. Surely that's the one to go for, right? Well, Stay tuned, because we're going to find out. A quick disclaimer, I bought this product with my own money, and all of the following opinions are my own. Also, I'm not a scientist, or a sleep expert, or whatever. I'm just a very tired individual, on a quest to find tools and tricks to get a better night's kip, and reporting what I find along the way. What is it? The Astral Light Galaxy Projector is a little plastic unit that casts a starry night scene onto the surfaces of a room. The wide angle prism gives the projection a huge footprint and covers all four walls of an average size bedroom. Advertised as a product that helps you wind down and relax, it seems to be targeted at both children and adults. The projector is portable and has an inbuilt battery, making it easy to bring while traveling. What do you get in the box? In what is becoming a recurring theme with this channel, my box arrived battered and bruised. The delivery guy must have been using my astral light to play French cricket, because as you can see, it's had quite the journey to my front door. The packaging itself is a basic box that looks concerningly different to how it's advertised on the website. Inside, you'll find the projector, a USB-A to micro USB cable, and a tiny booklet. How much did I pay? According to the Astral Light website, the regular price is 70 British pounds. I paid 36 pounds, which works out to about 50 American dollars or 15,000 Hungarian forints. I've searched high and low and can't see any mention of anybody paying the full 70 pounds for the unit. I'm inclined to believe that it's a classic case of a fake special offer to make something seem more affordable especially when you see that similar products online are around the same price. What awards has it won? Galaxy projectors are very popular at the moment. A flick through Amazon and eBay returns hundreds of results, with nearly identical brand names and prices. So, what sets them apart? Astrolite claims to be the original immersive Galaxy projector on their Instagram, and award-winning on Facebook. Surely that's a good enough differentiator, right? Well, not so much. I tried to find out exactly what award they'd won, both online and by emailing them directly. The fact that my results came back empty and Astrolite didn't respond makes me think that they might be telling porcupies. I also pointed out that the link from their website to their Facebook page was broken because they spelt their own company name wrong. I have a pet peeve about misleading product descriptions. If they're lying about winning awards, what else are they hiding? How does it work? The unit itself is super simple to operate. Four touch sensitive buttons are located on the side. This button turns the unit on. This button cycles between the three static colors and a rotating color mode. This button toggles stars on and off. And finally, this button activates the music sync mode. Now, I don't know whether I got a dud unit, but music sync was underwhelming to say the least. I expected the lights to react to the sound so I could listen to some relaxing lo-fi beats. Instead, the speaker only reacted to the heaviest drums and bass lines. Rather than gently dancing to the music, the unit started flashing like a mad thing, which made me the opposite of relaxed. I got 4 hours of battery life on average, which is plenty long enough to use for an evening and while you're drifting off to sleep. Did it help me sleep better? As much as I've been making digs at the questionable statements the company makes, I did actually enjoy using the product. I didn't find myself falling asleep any sooner, but it was cool to have the room lit up for an hour or two in the evenings. As you can see here, my week was fairly restless. Astral Light make no mention of the science behind their claim to help you sleep. So, I'm not convinced the product was designed with this in mind. It seems more likely that this angle was tacked on afterwards, so it's definitely not a magic cure for sleep. Conclusions Overall, I feel that Galaxy projectors in general are a fun and affordable gadget to keep around. 
I didn't notice any difference in the quality of sleep I was getting, but it was a novelty to turn my bedroom into a galaxy. Here are four things I didn't like, and two things I did. First, the not-so-great stuff. One, when the battery starts to die, the lights flicker, which actually woke me up, as I thought I was being abducted by aliens. Two, the build quality. Astral Light claim that they are the original galaxy projector, but the unit itself has a generic unbranded case that feels very cheap. It hasn't blown up after a week, but it doesn't feel like a product that will last the test of time. 3. The buttons are nearly impossible to navigate in the dark. If you get too close to it, you end up blinding yourself with the lasers, so a slightly more obvious and tactile button would be appreciated. 4. They also get a special bonus point for making false claims about winning awards. And to leave on a positive note, here are the things I did like. 1. The concept itself. Nothing existed like this when I was a kid, and for the price, it's surprisingly effective. 2. The inbuilt battery. This could totally have been a device that needs to be mains powered, but the battery increases the number of places it can be used. So, would I recommend it? There's no doubt that galaxy projectors appeal to your inner child who loves outer space. It's just a shame they don't appeal to your inner, tired and grumpy adult who can't get a good night's sleep. For the price, it's a cheap and cheerful gadget that lights up your room. If you are in the market for a galaxy projector though, I'd personally look for a brand that looks more reputable and a product that has a better build quality. If you found this video interesting, consider subscribing. It will keep you in the loop for sleep products I'll be reviewing in the future that will reassure me that I'm not just shouting in a checkered shirt. Liking the video is apparently a good thing too, so if the mood takes you, go crazy. And finally, if you are struggling to sleep, try listening to the Go Back to Sleep podcast. I read from a non-fiction book each week, which is absolutely as boring as it sounds, but may help you nod off. I'm Daniel, and this is Go Back to Sleep.